But before I introduce the first dance, I would like to share with you the love story of Christina and Colin. It all started in September of 2013. Christina was starting her new job as a marketing specialist at the company that Colin was working at. Her desk was about 10 feet away from Colin's. Apart from saying, hi, have a nice day, nice to meet you on that first day, Colin didn't really speak to Christina for the next several days. A couple of weeks passed with only a few words here and there spoken between them. Then it happened. Colin was asked to work with Christina on a project. He thought to himself, yes. So of course, they began talking a lot more. Colin says it was right after that first moment that he knew he wanted to ask her out. But he had to play it cool because she was just starting this job and still getting settled in. Colin was quite shy, and when Christina would speak to him at work, he would always blush. So their conversations moved to chatting online on Messenger. A lot. Very, very techy. Very techy. Colin would ask Christina tons of questions about herself, trying to get to know her on Messenger. It was Halloween, and Colin remembers Christina wearing overalls, or something weird like that. While he wore a nerdy t-shirt and some glasses with the white tape in the middle. Christina told Colin that he looked good in glasses. When he heard this, he nearly fell over. From that moment, he knew he had to gather the courage to ask her out. After about a week, he did just that. But her answer was, not sure. <laughs> Colin was determined though, and told Christina that he would keep asking her until she said yes. Her reply this time was, okay, weirdo. <laughs> Colin was asking her out on a daily basis at this point, and he started sending her memes on Messenger. If you don't know what a meme is, it's like little pictures and videos with little sayings on them. Things like a little grizzly bear with a caption, Bear my children. <laughs> or how about this one? A mix in a bowl of sauce, and he wrote, you saucy mix. <laughs> it's now been two months of daily asking outs, messenger memes, and post-it notes with more memes drawn on them on her desk. And Christina is thinking to herself, who is this weirdo? <laughs> Colin would ask her to hang out on the weekends, and she would always find an excuse to say she wasn't available. But then, things started to change. Christina was starting to notice how much Colin really cared. Christina finally agreed to go out to lunch with Colin a couple of days before her birthday. It was a work day, and Christina remembers how frantic Colin was, coming and going all morning from his desk and looking quite stressed. Colin had been planning this lunch for a week and was now getting things ready at their reserve table with some gifts that he thought that she would really like. Colin had got a vase of flowers for Christina, and in fact, that vase is still on her desk today. He also got a bag of bath and nail products that she knew, that he knew that she liked, and a larger coffee cup for work because he remembered that she kept on spilling her coffee because the cup was too small. They had great conversation over that lunch. Colin and Christina, sorry, Colin told Christina that he wanted her to know how much he cared for her and that even though they worked together, he didn't want to pass up the opportunity to see if she'd be willing to give this a try. For Christina, that lunch date was what she considers to be their first date as a couple. They continued to date for three years after that, 
two years into that, into the relationship, Colin mentioned to Christina that they would be, he wanted to be married around the same time that year. And he would be proposing in a year from now. Coming up on that year, it was around Christina's birthday, around November 2016. Colin took Christina to the Santa Claus Parade. It's one of her favorite times of the year. She thought something might be happening because he held her extra tight for the entire time. After the parade, they went out for lunch. And Christina remembers thinking Colin might be having a pan attack, panic attack or something because he was so nervous and acting super strange. But after that lunch, Colin surprised Christina by going to a jeweler where he had already made an appointment and told Christina to choose her ideal engagement ring. She liked this simple solitaire diamond that was called the Nordic Light. And when they left the jewelry store, Colin said that he wanted to make sure Christina would love the ring that, and that they would be engaged soon. After, Colin kept it a secret as to when he got the ring, got it sized, and all of that. It's about a month later, Christmas Day. Yeah. Christina and Colin were at Christina's parents' house. That's where Colin asked her father for permission to marry his daughter. Andreas answered, okay, when? <laughs> and Colin said, right now. And walked over to Christina and proposed. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to share with you exactly how Christina ended her version of the love story, and I quote, Colin is the kindest, most loving, most positive and optimistic person I have ever met. He has a joie de vivre that is infectious, and he lives to enjoy every minute of his life. He doesn't dwell on negativity. He is grateful for all that life has to offer, the good and the bad, and he and he has gifted me with a positive mindset and a love for life that I could not be more grateful for. He sees the best in all people. He pushes me to fulfill my dreams, even if that means he needs to make sacrifices in order for my dreams to happen. He doesn't allow me to be lethargic about my life. He encourages me to step outside my comfort zone, hustle and travel in order to make things happen. Because of the countless meals he's prepared for me at night after night after night and the constant prodding to get me to sit in front of my computer to write night after night, I have managed to publish two of my stories and publications this year. I have traveled to Europe to read my writing to university audiences and I have thrived in my career more than ever before. He wants me to succeed and does whatever he can to make sure I can make it happen. He's ambitious, intelligent, and just a little crazy, just like me. He's adventurous and cultural, and thinks forward. He's a dreamer, just like me. He's a relentless romantic, and always goes the extra mile to make sure every event and milestone is special. He's a true individual. He loves and cares for my family. He hugs everyone he meets. He makes me a better version of myself, and he makes me happy to be me. And he calls me a queen, and because of him, I kind of feel like I am one. I feel like I have met the truest and bestest friend in Colin. I have yet to experience a day of boredom with him. I cannot think of a greater gift in life than the gift of Colin as my soulmate and best friend for life. Colin ended his version of the love story like this, and I quote, <laughs> Christina is kind and loving, but stern and strict at the same time. <laughs> she inspires me to keep doing all the things that I want to do and has already helped me become such a better person. I can't wait to see who we, who we become together. She is the very opposite to me, and that helps us balance each other. I am very outgoing and reckless. She is more deliberate and thoughtful. As a result, we have both made each other better, which I think is ideal for a lifelong partnership. She is ambitious and headstrong, something we both have in common, so we push each other to do more and to be better, to reach our goals in life and our careers. Spending time with her is so easy, we can talk about all the things 
or just spend a nice silence together. We rarely disagree and argue, and even then, we always find common ground. We have similar goals for family life. We both want to have children and raise them to be caring, ambitious individuals. And I look forward to being parents. Friends and family, we all now get to share in their love story as we witness them have their first dance as husband and wife.